No fat flatline is a period of time, or multiple periods of time when all your emotions regarding life become flat. You will not feel any sexual arousal, no libido, no desire to work on your goals, no pleasure in doing anything, watching anything, or eating anything healthy. And simple, you feel dead from the inside, and this is nothing but a withdrawal symptom from no fat. It can be very scary, and I often find myself thinking that the benefits were a placebo, but every single time, the flatline is over benefits return. I can have several flatlines during a streak, and they range from several days to two weeks. Also, the libido vanishes during the flatline but returns afterward. I hope this video helps for those who are stuck in a flatline. There are unlimited flatline experiences on the internet. You can just type in Google, and it will pop up. What are the exact symptoms of no fap flatlines? The temporary symptoms of no fap flatline are given below. Remember, everybody will not face all the symptoms, and there will be more than these. It depends from person to person. Symptom 1. No motivation for doing anything. No matter how much responsibility you have on your shoulder, how much stress you have to complete your tasks before the deadline, and no matter how much willpower you have to carry, you just cannot do it. If your final examinations are approaching and you are on a no fap flatline, then there is no point in beating your head on the wall for not being able to study. To carry on a project, you need intrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is an inner motivation that just gives you joy while performing a task. If there is no joy, if there are no emotions and you are as dry as a twig from inside, you cannot keep going on with your work. Though it is only temporary. Symptom 2. No libido. There will be no morning wood. There will be no sexual arousal during this time and most of the no fappers have experienced this. Symptom 3. Brain fog. Brain fog is the inability to think clearly. You couldn't focus, and whatever you study, it will seem like vaporizing after a moment. Your mind will wander everywhere, except where you want to concentrate, and your memory will be weak. Again, this is temporary. Symptom 4. Insomnia. Insomnia can happen to a few people during no fat flatline. If you cannot sleep during these nights, do not worry, this is again temporary. Symptom 5. Depression. Of course, you will go into a temporarily depressed state of mind if you don't know what is happening. You will see your future dark, cry at night, bite your blanket in frustration, and curse God for this life. You want to do something, you want to improve your life, but you cannot do anything. The inability is frustrating. You will avoid people, you will hide in your room, you will let the cell phone ring without bothering to receive and listen about their happy life. This is temporary. Symptom 6. Fatigue. You will lie in bed most of the time. You will not do any physical activity, but still, you will feel tired. What the heck is going on with you? It will be a great challenge to do any physical or mental work around this time. You don't even feel like taking a bath and guess what? Yes, of course, this is temporary too. Symptom 7. Urge to eat fast food or alcohol. During the no-fat flatline, the urge to eat fast food, drink alcohol, or take drugs will be a common symptom. Your brain is not receiving that happy chemical hits anymore and it's crying for it. Anything that can give you fast happiness ice cream, pizza, KFC chicken, Budweiser, marijuana, etc. and you will want to go for it. Your brain identifies these as a mood booster in your previous life experiences and now it wants to experience them again. This is temporary too. Some of the other symptoms are mood swings, muscle fatigue, anxiety, excessive anger, etc. What is the science behind the no fat flatlines? Unfortunately, I couldn't come across any exact scientific explanation regarding what happens to our brain during the no fat flatline. The common explanation is that our brain goes through a rebooting process. We know that the brain rewires itself when we perform a task or don't perform a task. In neuroplasticity, new neurons and existing neural pathways strengthen when we perform a new task and repeat the same task, respectively. Again, if we stop doing something for a long time, the already wired pathways for that activity start to shrink and become dormant. In no fap, the neural pathways that have been created for watching porn and masturbation start to become dormant and shrink over time. The belief in no fap depends on person-to-person -person experience, and I hope, soon, there will be more scientific research on no fap. When no fap flatlines occur, and how long will they last? 
First, the NoFap flatline can occur multiple times to a person during his NoFap journey, or just one time depending on your past experiences in NoFap. Why does this happen? Again, no scientific explanation yet. The NoFap flatlines can occur right after the next day of NoFap. It can also happen after two years of NoFap. Some people, and this is very rare, don't feel the flatline at all. The common flatline that most of us experience is after two to three weeks, and it can last up to a week, a month, or even several months. I haven't come across a person who experiences NoFap flatlines for more than a year. Maybe it is possible. If there is someone, please let me know in the comments below. What are the stages of NoFap flatlines? There are two stages of NoFap flatline. The first stage is the withdrawal stage. This is the stage when you will see all the symptoms that have been mentioned above. This is the most challenging stage, and many give up and go back to watching porn at this stage. The second stage is the coasting stage. This stage of NoFap flatline is a good stage. Your emotions will start to surface back, and your moods begin to improve gradually. You will feel new joy and excitement in smaller work. It is like coming out of a dark cave after staying there for a few days. It is the light at the end of your tunnel. How do you get into NoFap flatlines? Is it a rapid or a slow process? You can get into NoFap flatlines on any day without warning. You may be motivated and feel good in the morning, but suddenly by the evening, you will lose all your appetite for life. You may go to bed with all the plans for the next day, and when you open your eyes in the morning, there is not an iota of energy to perform your task. You may wonder and say, what the heck just happened? On the other hand, the withdrawal from the flatline is also not that slow. When you survive the flatline period without watching porn, the comeback of your emotions is just waiting around the corner. It will be steady, and every day you will feel better about yourself and more productive. This happens after the coasting stage. You will find your self-belief is returning. You will find interest in talking with others, and you will look at your opposite sex differently, in a better way. You will look at them with respect and start valuing your life more than ever. This is what most people experience, and it doesn't mean you will experience the same. The only universal factor in the no-fat flatline is that these cold experiences are for the short term, which applies to everybody. The strategies to overcome the no-fat flatline quickly. Some activities can delay your flatline recovery, and some activities can help you overcome your flatline quickly. Let's discuss each of them in detail some of the no-fap flatline delaying activities. Firstly, do not test with porn. During the flatline, there will be no libido, and you may think you will never feel your urges back. You may even try to watch porn again, just to check if your libido comes back or not. Don't do that. By doing that, you are firing your porn neurons back. The whole point of no fap is making the pathways shrink and dormant. If you watch porn again, you are strengthening your pathways back, irrespective of your masturbation. The second point is cheating. Okay, you may say, I will not watch porn, but I will just chat with hotties, see their pictures, or watch a Game of Thrones scene. No, you cannot. Those people recover quickly who consistently avoid all kinds of porn. Third is overthinking. You keep browsing and watching videos one after another about no fap flatline, but you are still not convinced. You think your one is different. You feel different, and your flatline came late or too early, and you are not sure that this is even a flatline. Don't overthink it, just be patient, and stop browsing videos after videos. It will pass eventually. Just experience it with a calm mind. Here are some activities to overcome the no fap flatline. Activity 1. Boredom. Do this activity if you trust your willpower, and this is the only activity in which I saw fast results. In flatline, you don't feel any pleasure by doing any activities. In this case, your brain craves happy chemicals. It looks for an alternative from where you got a burst of happy chemicals in the past. Fast food, video games, and drugs are the few examples of where they can get quick gratification. What I did in flatline was, I let my brain starve for the pleasure chemicals. I didn't even use social media, nor played any video games. I just lay on my bed and became bored as much as possible. I compel my brain to like small stuff like reading and writing. I had three flat lines, and all three took an average of 10 days. I don't recommend this to you. This is too hard on yourself. If you feel like playing video games and eating fast food, do it. At least, you are not watching porn. 
These are mind games that you must stay safe from. Activity 2. Patience. You know what is happening to you, and this may take up to several months to get your emotions back. You can read the success stories on nafap.com and motivate yourself to continue on this journey. But, the most crucial factor in this journey is your patience. Sure, you can read a book or watch a video that suggests you can do a physical workout, meditation, morning cold shower, etc. If you can do all these activities then good for you, go ahead and do it. The point of flatline is not feeling any emotions while doing anything, and if you think you can do it without any motivation, kudos to you. The only thing I will suggest is to have patience and know that this is temporary. Activity 3. Join NoFap Forums When you will know, you are not alone in this journey. You will feel good about yourself, and that is nothing but releasing happy chemicals in your brain. Join the subreddit R. NoFap. Join the NoFap Forum and talk with people who are also in the same stage of your life. This will help a lot. It is highly recommended. In conclusion, NoFap is a personal experience. There is not much scientific study conducted in this area. This is something you have to do on your own and check the result. If you want to boost your life, change the course of your journey, and if you don't want to die mediocre, then give it a try for at least 30 days. I mean, what are you going to lose? Haven't you already lost so much? No fap has changed my life and millions of others. I hope you are successful at what you do and live a healthy and stress-free life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, don't forget to share this with your friends and leave a comment below with your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. X-King out.